going to build a kingdom where everyone can live happily ever after. Here we go again. Oh, he's around here. We're gonna get him. <laughs> I do love this scene where it's like, he's gotta be- Oh shit, there he is. Never mind. I thought we were sticking up on him. Apparently he snuck up on us. Come on. Take care of the legs, Evan. The legs. The only way to take them down. Careful, man. Okay, there's the owl, sir. Can I, can I, can I see my character, please? Oh my god, I finally get over here and you took away this vulnerability? Come on, let me catch up to the leg. Stop turning, you jerk! Okay, here comes these guys. Yep, we, we know. We're aware. We're aware. Yeah, we, we know. So he's just bad, bad. What the flip? Okay, can you t target the little guys? I don't care about Bastion. Target the little guys. Okay, so I think the best way to do this is just stay back, kill the these things to get the Higlodites in order to... Because it seems like every time he's like electrifies and if I get close to him... Yeah, because here's where everyone starts dying that isn't smart and me. Because I'm smart enough to not get near these things. Ow, 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 ow. Did not see that coming. Because they're not smart and me. Okay, go ahead and heal yourself. Now 
Nope, not getting near that. I'm looking for my Higlodites. Here, a whole bunch of them are. Man the cannons! Because every time you hit him when he's electrified, you just get damaged. I wonder if this works. I should probably pay attention to what I'm doing. Or what's hitting me. Rather than being like, I wonder if I can hit him this way. Wait, I'm getting killed. <laughs> Damn it. Come on, Higlodites. Another round of another round of cannon fire. God dang, I, I it's hard to control exactly where you roll. I wonder what exactly the Hicklites are, because they seem to be almost like an opposition of the Kingmakers, because they always show up to help us kill them. We're going in the right direction, I think. What just hit me? Oh, come on, I avoided that. Okay. Oh my god, you guys are terrible. Like seriously, all you had to do was stay alive for three seconds. No, I just came in here to bring them back up. Because you're terrible, that's why. You need to be up for this experience. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Guys, come on. Guys, you literally just have to let me press your button once. Good. Everyone was up for the end. That's what I cared about. I think it's not so fast. Wow, the the slight audio desync in the game, not in my recording. Is it not over yet? So 
So what the hell do I do about this? Because I still can't attack it directly. Because look what's happening to my allies. What the hell do I do about this? You can't expect me to do the whole fight again. But so that was just to scare me. I don't know, man. But we better get out of your better your shopish. Evan. I swear they use that Evan I voice like. Must be willing to give his life to protect his people. That's what Zip is planning to do. But I'm not going to let him. Not now. I won't run away. Not again. Not ever. Well, at one point you did, so you can't say not ever. Is this the, like a kingmaker with the backing of his king is going to be stronger than the kingmaker without? Aren't we not supposed to be ever be able to use this offensively? Like we're not defending our kingdom right now. How is this possible? Also, flipping looking good, Lofty. Can he be in my party? Lofty. Is it really you? Amazing! You're amazing! Bastion doesn't stand a chance! Well, how are we going to have to fight? Go on, Lofty! Show us your true power! Uh, but we, again, I don't think we can use Lofty offensively. Hey! Aha! Okay. Exactly. That was dumb. I just saw that guy there and I was like, oh, I'll kill him. Dang it, can't you make better stairs? What the hell just happened? I fell through somehow? That was not appropriate. He keeps trying to shoot me. Lofty, what are you doing exactly? Because it does not appear you are helping me. I wonder. Okay, yeah, no. I was like, could I? Because it doesn't really look like anything's attacking me until I come up the stairs. But no, they, they've... they've figured that out. I wouldn't want to do it anyway, but I was just curious. Oh, that was a lot shorter than it was before. Um, where am I going exactly? Right. Where am I going? You built me a stairway to nothing. I, aren't I supposed to end up in heaven? Isn't that the whole point? I'm the most heroic cat in the world. Oh my god, I just pressed a jump button. I would love to if you would stop making your freaking platforms go away while I'm walking on them. Said to me again. I feel sorry for Bastion. Like Bastion is like the coolest of the ones.
Aww. Huh? Lofty, you're all sucky again. Ah, oh, you're kidding. And there I was, just getting used to being big and long and handsome again. Knickers! What? <laughs> Can you put that in a kid's game? <laughs> Seems like you can only maintain your dragon fl dragonly form for a short while, Lofty. Wait, I'm Leander. Exactly. My theory is the King's Mind was strengthened, but only just enough. So you're able to regain your original form, but only for a very short while. What? If everything's about kingly, the bunker I'll be able to do for longer, right? Maybe in forever at the end? Go on, my son! <laughs> right to Evan, get your king get king of your head off, my lad. That's an order. <laughs> So I can't believe you managed to take down Bastion. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't. There's no way I would ever prevent the core from melting down, that's for sure. <laughs> well, all well to end, though. You, you didn't have to scare me with all that talk about the whole kingdom being wiped out. <sighs> I... I can't believe things turned out this way. I built the reactor to try and help people, to make life better instead. Well, I just put everyone in danger. I'm not a president. I don't deserve to run this country. Hmm? Hey! L listen, everybody. Man, they were, uh, they like, people died. But, but I... They forgave him f impossibly fast. That doesn't seem right. Don't deserve to run this country, huh? I think the people might have something to say about that. I like the theme in the background. President Vector, I came here originally to ask you something. You see, I'm trying to bring peace to our world. Real, lasting peace. But I will need your help to do it. Can I count on your support? Oh, I'm sure we can come to some kind of an arrangement. But we'd need a preferential trade agreement, of course. <laughs> God damn it. Do you guys have an official technology partner? Really? There's a warp here? I don't know why I'd ever want to come back here, but I'll, I'll make it. Ready when you are. So we get this back signed, the better. Let our nations be joined for the sake of the world. Let the banners of war ne'er again be unfurled. United, United we stand, stand as, as one single, single land. land. And there's Bastion. So he's looking to bring back this Horned One, and you're looking to stop him? I still think the Horned One may be the White Witch. Like, it's supposed to be, like, a uh, almost satanic reference, but the White Witch definitely had... She didn't have horns, but she had, like, this cowl thing, if, as I recall. Yes. And if we can join forces with the other kingdoms, we may just stand a chance. I see. And out of the big players, there's only Ding Dong Dell left now, huh? That could be difficult. Yes. But I can tell by your face, you're not gonna back down. Luckily, we'll be right behind you. You have my word, as president of Broadleaf. Thank you so much. You'll be going with our new friends, Bracken? I was hoping so. Yes, Mr. President. Just as you ordered. But is that really all right? Bracken's awfully important to your kingdom, isn't she? Sure, and she'll be important to yours, too. I could hardly send some second-tier engineer to help our new partners now, could I? <laughs> you heard the man. I'll be on hand for all your mechanical and technological needs from now on. 
from hair clips to airships, I'm your guest. Wait, hair clips? What? So President Vector was freed from the grip of his obsession. And Broadleaf became the next country to sign up to the Declaration of Interdependence. Fantastic. That, but Evan found a new friend in Bracken Meadows, whose endless inventiveness was sure to help Evermore flourish as never before. Only one great nation now remained. Ding Dong Dell. Yep. I don't know how that's going to end. It feels odd to just leave Ratboy on the throne. So Lofty finally showed his true power. I still think Curious Boy is yes, the final boss of the game. It was such a surprise. You never would have guessed from looking at him. I might have. And everything seems to be settling down in Broadleaf too. It does, yes. President Vector is back to his old self. I'm sure he'll put his people first from now on. You'd like to think so. And his friends will learn to trust him again soon enough. The bond between them is too strong for them to hold a grudge. <laughs> you would think that. I only hope that I can forge such firm friendships. I have a long way to go before people look up to me like they do Zip, though. I'm nothing like him. Yeah, you, your heart doesn't get corrupted. You don't kill people. It takes you should work all on that. kinds of kings to make a world. I think you should just keep doing what you're doing. Perhaps you're right. Hey, Evan. Have you ever thought about what you'd do if someone really close to you betrayed you? Is that an offer? What? Oh, I was just wondering. Forget I asked. <laughs> That's foreshadowing. And that's a very morbid question. So, if someone tried to kill you, what would you do to them? There's Roland. They keep me rolling. This is what you need. So, you managed to acquire it. Not that I expected any less. You are nothing if not dependable. <laughs> yeah, that's me. We good to go then? That's not his voice though. Who's there? Um... Crikey! That's definitely his model, but his voice is slightly wrong, I'm pretty sure. Chapter 7. A Traitor in Our Midst. What you wantin', curse ya? Please don't get me busy without your little words in my ear, you scabby squab. Sorry, but it's important. You'll be wanting to hear this, you can be sure of that. You see. I was about to be visit the castle last night when I happened upon a fishy scene indeed. She had a character clad in robes a sugar rag with old Roland there. If I ain't mistaken, the amount of pleasure we changed in hands seemed like state secrets to me. <laughs> Roland, but Bobby like you've been peddling, man. You were sleeping on the job and I just have a little dream, is all. I swear it, boss, that's what I saw. I swear it on my life. And when I escaped when he spied me, I looked at their listening, came after me with a face black as thunder. So I'm going to escape with me gizzards. Ha! Mm. <laughs> well, I ain't about to believe such a thing of what I'm without proof, but you seem rather convinced, man, and that's for certain. Very well. Keep a weather eye on the swab. See what you can see. Aye. That's all the tweaks the research factory implemented, Your Majesty. We made a few improvements that should ensure they're pretty much future-proof for now. Wow. Well, I've got to say, Bracken, you've come pretty impressively far. Impressively fast since you arrived in town. <laughs> well, of course. Why else would you have made me Minister of Ingenuity? Hmm. We have made precious little headway in other areas. Not the least question of how to encourage Ding Dong Dell to sign the declaration. Hmm. We can't even get close to them, let alone convince them to hear us out. 
And with the Horde One's resurrection surely growing closer with every passing day, we simply can't afford to let these petty differences divide us. Hmm. Forgive me. There was something I wanted to speak to you about. Unfortunately, there have been recent events within the realm that have... Mm -hmm. Hi, Vector. God damn it, his freaking airship. <laughs> that was creepy at all. What are you gonna fly us to How's Ding Dong Dell? Hey! Quite interested. What do we have the pleasure? <laughs> well, we just got fixed up Broadleaf and after the, all the um, uh, trouble, I thought maybe I could offer, come, offer you guys a little help. That's right. Greatest brain in the world is looking out for you. Lucky you, right? And my first gift will be the free use of the zip, the zippelin. Fly, my friends. The skies are yours now. What? Fly me. Think how many of us we can cram into that thing. We'll fly around even when there's no wind. Exactly. I've upgraded the old girl, the miniature perpetual fission reactor. She's zippier than ever in all sense of the world. Word. Uh. Yeah, I was going to mention that. <laughs> Zip is right, man. It's got your your great ugly mug parts all over the front of it. Oh, egg. Hmm. I had wondered if that might be something of an issue. Hey. You can't ugly mug. Have you noticed the most mathematically well proportioned faces ever studied? Um. Uh, am I right less conspicuous with the face? Without the face on the front? Really? <laughs> Poor Zip. Listen. Zip, it's not, it's not just about what it looks like. You're starting to think about air resistance? That thing was a heck of a lot of drag. Sorry, bit's coming off. Come on. B -b 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 I mean, we are kind of... We, he said he, we, he would lend it to us and we're starting... The first thing we did was to face it? That's pretty... Awful. As given eventual, I'd like to bring your attention to this young medical researcher by the name of Chip. She appeared to be the second only zip vector in technical set. Nope, that's Bracken. There are three types of toadstools that grow through the forest of Nial. They're not toxic and they're not suitable for eating. I bit one out of curiosity and feared for my teeth. Like all flowers of the forest, they emit light, but this fades after they're picked. So things are next to pan out with plan with the personal fission reactor, but I guess it's for the best. Zip and I put the past behind us, and all our burned out employees are on the mend. Sounds like the good times are back in Broadleaf once again. Well, this one takes the biscuit. Can you believe the high tech Wonderland has Broadleaf joined forces with the new kid on the block, King Evans Evermore? That makes it the third king side of the Declaration of Interdependence. Everyone's all the ranks of Is King Evan really trying to unite the world? King Evan's the best! Never thought Broadleaf would join us. Zip's on board, then I'm on board. But surely Ding Dong Dell could never join. Yeah, right, with all this going on. <laughs> Who needs Ding Dong Dell? They're a bunch of... It's just King Mousing who took the throne. I haven't seen Hydra hair of the Grimble again. And the shops they used to run have been taken over by new owners. Just where in the world could they have gone? This picture I painted in the sun over the sands of the drylands. The quality of light was nothing I, like I have ever seen. More the beauty of the place. Broadleaf is amazing! There are these robots all over the place. Imagine being made of metal. It would be so weird. I can't tell what's going on inside their heads. All I know is that they're absolutely adorable! Now I want one of my own. I was just taking a look at the demo going on. Who should arrive on the scene? But Bastion. Never seen Kingmaker IRL. But I... I just hope no one got squished. Okay. Do, 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 do. And real quick, let me cash in on my earnings and make <laughs> make my kingdom better. Uh-huh. 34,000. 
No, no. So I need... There's a lot of places to build, but most predominantly... Oh, Jesus, that takes 52,000 just to build the gardens. Oh, I can't even make it. I need the Kingmaker's Cathedral. Where would that be? Fresher Fish Market, Thriving Bazaar, Branching Lumberyard, Sage's Salon. Where is the Kingmaker's Cathedral? Hunting Lodge 3, Mining Camp, Mining Camp, Chirpy Ranch, Fertile Farm. Flourishing farm. Wait, what? Oh, wow, and it's it's down to 41, though, which I still can't afford, but yeah, that that change made a huge difference. I don't, this is a really stupid idea. I should not spend my money building this stuff because I don't even have people for it. But my kingdom just doesn't look complete, guys. Like, it makes me sad to move around. So I'm just going to make these real quick. I wish I could just say, yeah, make everything. <laughs> like, these guys are so cheap that I literally can just build the, build the entire world. But you know what? I'm not going to make you sit here and watch me do all this. I will see you guys in the next one when we um, get that ugly mug off the front of our airship.